Hello and welcome to the TalkSport Cricket YouTube channel. I'm joined now by Derbyshire's head coach, Mickey Arthur. Mickey, thank you for your time. Are you, are you excited for the upcoming season? Can't wait for the upcoming season. I just wish it would stop raining. I know. But, uh, <laughs> other than that, can't wait. So no shorts yet? No shorts yet. <laughs> Absolutely no shorts yet. Um, I want to talk about the, the, the news that broke yesterday that Mohamed Amir will not be uh, joining for the start of the season for Derbyshire. Uh, could you like give your thoughts on that for me? Yeah, look, uh, he, he phoned me yesterday. I quite understand where where, where he's at with it. Um, yeah, he wants another World Cup, I, and, and I totally get that. The one thing that's good is with the PCB, you always have a contingency. So I have got a, I have a contingency in place. Um, you have to with uh, you know when you when you when you deal with the with the PCB, but but um, you know so it is disappointing. Hopefully, and there's still a little bit of water to go under the bridge on that one yet. But we'll have him for our last six um, Vitality Blast games, um, which potentially could be the big ones. Um, so so yeah yeah it is what it is, and we'll we'll recover well. Very confident with the squad we've got, so we'll be fine. I was going to say, I'm, I'm sure you're confident with the bowlers that you have got, but is there any replacements in the lineup on on the horizon? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, no, we we will certainly replace uh, Amir. Um, we've got obviously Blair Techner coming. I'm um, uh, Chapel Connors, both outstanding. Uh, Pat Brown's given us another dimension. Um, Nick Potts is getting better all the time. Ben Aitchison in the you know after hopefully in the next couple of months is going to be ready to go. So we have a nice smorgasbord of quick bowlers, but we'll we'll certainly add one uh, to that stable. In relation to this, as a coach, how do you handle it when players have to go off to like different competitions and like you, you like you're missing them for a, a game or two? How do you how do you handle that? Well, it's, it's just the it's just the cricket landscape now. Um, yeah, and generally you've planned for it. You know, if you if you know. Mm. If you know beforehand, you, you know you, you've you've prepared for it, you've planned for it, and I think the key the key to that is backing every one of the players that you have. So I back every every one of our players in that dressing room, and I know if you throw them the baton, they will take that baton and run with it. They'll be ready, and they'll be ready to go out and perform for you. So, you know, it's just you you, you take it in your stride, plan properly, um, get enough depth, and you should be fine. What are your goals for this year? Obviously, to win games, but like, what are you, what what are your goals for players I, and individuals? Maybe I, I think I think I think I've said uh, a lot of times. If if you if we're having this conversation end of September again, and we've been promoted to Division One, I, I would be extremely extremely happy, because that shows that over six months we've played consistently well. Um, I know that we have a white ball team. That on its day can beat any team in the in the country. I'm confident that we'll be there and thereabouts in our white ball team. And then it's, it's about just uh, understanding what happens on the day. Mm -hmm. We we've got to get ourselves to a quarter final. We one game away from finals day, and then who knows after that. Mm -hmm. And and then the 50 overs, depending on 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 who we've got, um, we'll 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 look to win that as well. So so it's yeah, it's it's always hard to. I think as a coach, for me, it is player improvement. So, so if I see our players grow, our players get better, our players put themselves in positions um, to win us games of cricket, mm -hmm. and then the ability to take those match-winning moments and, and making them proper for us, um, that, that fills me with, uh, with pride and joy. So hopefully we've had a bit of those. We're a Division One county come September. It's not just new player signings you've made this season. You've also got a new batting coach in Ben Smith. Uh, what are you expecting from him this year? Uh, Ben's been outstanding since he's been here. His uh, work ethic, knowledge. Uh, ben had a really good career here mm -hmm. in England. Um, very knowledgeable. Um, he's He's been outstanding. The boys have really warmed to him. He's spent time with all our batsmen now. So uh, he's got a pretty good understanding of them. Um, he's been he's been outstanding. I I, I can't um, I can't praise him highly enough. Perfect. And I've got one more question for you. Um, on relation to the England Test match, there was a there was a tweet re released by the cricketer that stated that it was unfair for the young spinners of Tom Hartley and Bashir and uh, Rian Ahmed to quote carry the can of a domestic league that doesn't work. What was your thoughts on that and your opinions on their statement? Well, my opinions on that was it didn't take them long to start criticising the county championship. Um, when England were playing well, nobody spoke about the county championship, and then they criticised it the minute it, it didn't it didn't go right, which I thought was was unfair. Um, I did get a, a little bit of traction back from uh, 
um, uh, Dubel. Uh, mm-hmm. um, we 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 had so we we had some conversations. I understood what he uh, he eventually explained himself, and he has he has actually um, been an advocate of the county championship for a while. So so there was no issue with that. Mm-hmm. I I just thought that was a little bit unfair. Yeah. And, and 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 you know we, we've got young Jack Morley here this year. Um, you know we're going to give him opportunity because I do think that for England to become that test team that we we want them to be mm-hmm. and they're very very good um that is one area that that they do need to improve because you've got to go and play in the subcontinent um you've got to win in the subcontinent to be the best team in the world um so as long as we can develop a spinner for them those spinners are allowed to grow and allowed to develop England will get it right why is it you think the county championship does get the the blame like straight away when something goes wrong why is that well I think it's just because it's just it's just the kicking can all the time, mm. you know. I've been in I've been in in domestic systems around the world now, um, South Africa, Australia, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. I've seen it. I've, I've I've coached in the West Indies, in Bangladesh. I've been all over. The county championship still attracts your best overseas players. They want to come and play here. Um, young players growing up in other countries want to come and 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 be part of the county championship and i wanted to come and coach in it coaches want to come and coach in it because it's a very very good system um i think i I think it does get unfairly tainted at times mickey thank you for your time always a pleasure on am on dab via the talk sport app and on your smart speaker talk sport